I uh, came up a bit slower than usual. I'm scared. This is all it's far too fancy so for me. Fancy? Have you seen this? Look at this. We I got have curtains. Seen it. We got I don't know stuff down here. Get, it, that's the fourth wall. Stay back here. Well, we've been breaking it for your ears. We might as well at least get to poke through it. That's true. Hi. We're also in high definition, so you can see how terrible my beard is. You can see every fleck on my on my face. You know who didn't have a terrible beard in Star Trek: The Next Generation season two? Do you know? Come on, that's a segue. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Roll with me here. Sorry, I wasn't listening. Is it Riker? Yes, it is, Matt. Nice pull. The answer is Bill. Bill oh. Riker. And his dad, Bill Senior. Bill Senior. We'll get to Bill Senior. All right. First, now, let's run over the episodes that were in Star Trek: The Next Generation. Season 2. Season 2. Deanna Troy is raped by a space comet and has a space baby. Worf votes no for a tiny American flag. The Enterprise encounters the nothing. Wesley rides a luck dragon. And then it's a test. Because of course it is. Data pretends to be Sherlock Holmes and Al pretends to care about Sherlock Holmes. Much like du Jude Law's Watson to Robert Downey Jr.'s Holmes, Geordi can't see the sexual tension staring him right in the face. A wacky character shows up who's so outrageous it's right there in the title! Also, Data learns comedy from Earth's only remaining comedian, Joe Piscopo. Man, World War III hit him pretty hard. Reva the Diplomat isn't handicapped, he's handicapable! Please shoot me. An old man retires to his new home in scenic Data's guts, and I fall in love with Dr. Salar. Uh, Pulaski catches a disease that makes her old, I guess. That's what they said in the episode anyway, I don't really see the difference. Riker takes part in the new student exchange program and meets his new Klingon host father, Cobra Commander. Data is proven to be a human. Not a good human, but, you know, reasonable. Like, a janitor level or something. Wesley has his first star-crossed love affair, which comes to a grinding halt when he refuses to disobey orders, follow his heart, or really become involved in any meaningful way. Enterprise downloads an ancient mummy's curse. Computer virus. Same thing. A skeleton is found in a hotel. Riveting sci-fi action as you like it! A shuttlecraft is brought on board containing a surprise visitor. Another Picard! There's two of them. Contrast w with this point in the original series where Kirk had already encountered 16 different duplicate Kirks and one half Tiberius. Bill Sr. shows up to play catch with his boy. Meanwhile, on the bridge, a cat is found in the ship's cradle with a silver spoon. Data writes a letter to a small girl, breaking several directives, including the Prime one. This is entirely in character. Who says that it's not? The series' greatest villains, the Ferengi, are forgotten in favor of some boring, flash-in-the-pan cyborg guys. <sighs> Meet the pac -Leds, short busters of the Alpha Quadrant. They're so dumb they think Geordi would make a good friend and attempt to kidnap him. Ah, oh, poor Geordi. Star Trek reignites its long-standing hatred of the Irish. In the dramatic finale, Worf chases a leprechaun while Chief O'Brien weeps in the corner. Loxwana Troy returns to vex the captain, and this time it's menopausal. Oh, and Bill Riker gets a new nickname. These are my associates. This is, uh, Nails. Commander Sisko takes his first... No! Damn it! Dr. Salar returns, and this time she's a hot Klingon. Fine, I'm still drooling. The Enterprise crew takes part in awesome war games until the stupid, boring Borg show up and ruin everything. Nails shoves his leg where he ought not and is forced to watch all of TNG up to this point. Not so easy, is it, Nails, you jerk? Well, that's it. That's the second season. That's everything we got, folks. And uh, next season there won't be a clip show, so that's good at least. Yeah. Shades of Grey. What, P.U. What the hell was that? Oh, you know what we really need to see at the end of our Star Trek season? Uh, nothing happening. No, in fact, yeah, the show's getting great, so uh, here's a look back at all the shitty episodes here's you're trying the, to forget from season one. Here's the worst stuff we could find. Yeah, the thing is, coming up, season three is amazing. Uh -huh. Next time we come here, it's going to be a hard uh, time we have finding uh, bad episodes, because they are just amazingly great, and we'll be here to tell you all about it. <laughs> yep, we will be here. Matt, when you coughed, did you make the shark cough? That was, that was delightful. I liked that. I did do that, yes. All right, join us in a few months when we get to season three. Bye, folks. Bye.